Namaskar. Today I am at Jalukbari, Gohati, Assam. Today let me take you to the Temple of Knowledge, the pride of Assam, the Gohati University. Let's get into it and let's decode the university in further details. The Guwahati University was functional from 1948 to 26th of January. Approximately 70% of the area of the university is filled with greeneries, which provides a very beautiful and conducive environment for the learners to enhance their process of learning. Ever since its inception, the university has always continued the process of going together, growing together. Today, the university has approximately 300 plus affiliated colleges which are performing very efficiently. Ever since 1948, the university has largely contributed in the growth story of Guwahati, Assam and India to an extent. Now, we are at the GOIST, Guwahati University Institute of Science and Technology. This has over the years produced high caliber, efficient engineers and scientists, which has largely benefited Assam and India with regard to innovations and inventions. The building in the front is named as NAB, New Academic Building. This building has over the years provided thousands of bureaucrats, intellectuals, academicians, and hundreds of MPs, MLAs, etc. to the land of Assam. It also has a great contribution to the literature and art of Assam. The building in the front is the Guwahati University Hospital, which medical facilities and ambulance services operates 24-7, which is a great relief for the students, faculty and other staff to ensure their health security. The university also possesses financial facilities such as the post office, the state bank, the PNB and ATMs across to ensure smooth and easy transaction of the residents of the university. Beyond administration and academics, the university has also nurtured and engineered many prominent athletes over the years, which has made Assam and the nation proud in several events. This is the main gate of the Guwahati University. If you are someone looking for peace, trust me, the peace is in the university. I mean, there is a very good feeling uh, being in the university. Uh, the building that you can see at the front is known as the arts building. This building comprises of departments such as the law department, the maths department, the philosophy department and also comprises of the secretary office, the deputy secretary office and other important offices. The infrastructure of the university is also met in accordance to the requirement of the persons with disabilities. 
There is also a Department of Disabilities which discusses and talks about the various aspects of disabilities. There is also a good number of enrollment of students, staff, and some teachers of the persons with disabilities in the university. The university has largely emphasized on the principle of inclusive development over the years. The university administration have been largely emphasizing on the principle of decentralization of power and also in encouraging and empowering the youth, due to which elections are conducted every year and the selected members or secretaries have their offices in this building, which is also known as the PGSC building, Post Graduation Student Union Building. This hall or auditorium is known as the PKV Hall. All important events or programs are conducted in this hall. And now we are in the front of the main building, the administrative building. All the important offices such as the registrar office, the vice chancellor office, the controller office are placed in this building. Uh, <clears throat> this is the most powerful building in the university which executes and runs 300 plus affiliated colleges and the university. All important policies and documents are framed and designed in this building. This is the Krishna Kanta Library of the Guwahati University. This is insanely big in size. It has a great potential of accommodation. Uh, it comprises, it contains thousands of books hundreds of computers, high-speed internet, which enhance the learner's process of learning. There are approximately 42 departments and 22 hostels in the Guwahati University. The hostels in the university are classified into two categories. The RCC class, which you can see right there, and the another class is the AT class, which you can see right there. Uh, <clears throat> one of the significant factor of this hostel is uh, the previous chief minister of the Assam, Karun Gogoi, was the ex brother of this hostel. And with this, this is the end of my documentary.